Okay, so far we learned on how to create a asset acquisition using external acquisition. So now I'm going to show you on how to create a credit memo. So for creating the credit memo, you need to go to the credit memo. So here you see this is the existing asset. So I assume that you have capitalized the excess of 300 so now I'm going to show you on how to maintain the credit memo for this transaction so to create the credit memo you just need to go to the accounting financial accounting fixed asset then the credit memo so it's since the capitalization is the same as a NYCR, so we use the NYCR. So the asset we are taking here is 3012, so which is a acquisition cost is 1500. So now we are excess capitalized instead of 1200. Let's assume we are capitalized 300 extra, so we just need to maintain. So zero four zero one zero four twenty twenty enter so just three hundred. So here if you see the transaction you can see the asset value date you have not entered. The system automatically bring this from the asset master data. So this is actually what is maintained under the asset. If you look into the asset, then you can see this is a how it's maintained. So the offsetting account is, this is defaultly maintained under the account determination. So now I type the credit memo. Posting the invoice credit memo so now click on simulate So when you click on simulate, you can see the information. This is not this is not going to post to the cost cost center. So the cost center information will not be shown here. So now you can see the GL. This is an automatic account determination, which is uh, done in the case of a credit memo here, which is an inventory taking. So maybe let's say this credit memo is, we may return the, some assets or the wrong billing is also possible. So yeah, so now let's see how to post. Click on save. So the document is posted. So the system will show under the status this is the document posted. So now if you would like to see the financial document, go to the display. So it's a uh, 2020, so enter. So this is our credit memo document. Go to accounting documents so you can see. So there is a debit posting and then there's a credit and debit posting. Debit posting go on to the inventory and the credit posting go to the fixed asset so this is a directly posting in the fi so how we can do this posting using a goods return like uh, let's say when you purchase a few items so if there is any defect on the asset so how to return those uh, in the assets so i will show using a material management so this is how the system show now if you go to the asset explorer refresh 
go back now you can see so this is a system it's updated the document here where you can see the details so what is the asset value date and what is the credit memo is posted so now you check the depreciation this is the tricky part yeah so the depreciation is recalculated according to the new amount by the system so this is the depreciation yes so everything will be adjusted in the current month so any excess depreciation is calculated earlier will not be reversed it will be adjusted in the same month of this so it is not going to um, uh, reverse anything which is posted earlier in these areas here so since this is already posted so the system is not going to reverse so everything will be adjusted under the line 3 here so yeah so this is how you can do the credit memo using a direct fi transactions so in the next session you will see on how to create a, using a goods return uh, using a material management thank you